Yo, what's good, y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a security camera system where, like, you have, like, a um, panel and stuff like that, like, parts and stuff, and then you click the uh, buttons and stuff to access each individual camera, wherever it is and stuff, depending on how many you have and stuff like that, and then it'll, like, it'll switch your player's camera view to the, uh, s like, it'll switch its focus from your humanoid which is a part of your player, to the part that you need know, the camera to be oriented on, right? Which would be where the camera is, I should say. But yeah, before we get into the video, uh, reminders to join my Discord and Roblox group, link for me found in the description. <clears throat> and yeah, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to, let's just get, go ahead and get the remote event out of the way, right? Let's do a remote event, we'll call this our camera event, we'll call it that. Then we're going to want to make our camera like panel we'll say right so let's say it's like i don't know like let's just say like your game is like um like a city game like you know you got cops you got civilians firefighters whatever and stuff so you want like your police officers to be able to access cameras and stuff via like a wall with buttons that are like labeled each one says camera one camera two camera three etc you get it but yeah though so we're gonna go ahead and insert a part then we can scale it you want to you, want, you pretty much want it to look like a wall like that's pretty much you want it to look like a wall a little bit. Uh, make it a little bit smaller. Then yeah, that should, that should be about good. And then we can like we can insert a cylinder, and then make it look like a button by doing that. And then we can make this like black, and then make it metal, then make this like a dark gray, like a like a nice dark gray, and then of course make it metal, makes it look nicer. This will be our button, and then you can name it too. Uh, we could just call this. We'll call this part panel simply for organizational purposes. Then we'll call this uh, camera one button. Then of course, make sure you anchor them. Uh, you can select all by holding uh, left click and then just dragging it over all of them. Then yeah, or just. Uh, go on the, and explore it individually, anchor them, or whatever. So inside of the camera one button, you want to insert a click detector, which you can see right there. Then you want inside the click detector, you want to insert a server script. We'll call this. Uh, hmm. we can call this. Uh, hmm, camera. We'll call this camera script. Local. Uh, not local server. Yeah, because it serves out. I meant to do parenthesis. Okay. So then, what, so then, what we can do is we can go ahead and get our remote event, local camera event. Is you go to game the replicate storage dot camera event. Then we'll do a script dot parent dot mouse click connect function. Then in parentheses we'll put PLR, which is short, which is short for player. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire the remote event camera event fire client. And then we're sending over that player so that it knows just that's that, like to only make the change to that specific player. And then we're done with that script. We're gonna go into start a player script and insert a local script. You can, um, you can really just copy the name, like just like in my previous video, copy the name from that script and then, um, paste it over here by doing you can you click control and C to copy and then control and V to paste. And then you just change the server part to client. This is a client side change. Then, of course, just like before, we're going to get the remote event. So, local camera event is equal to game that replicate storage dot camera event. Then, we're going to do camera event dot client event connect function. Then, this is the player that's sending over. Then, of course, we're going to get the character, the player's character. We're going to do local character is equal to game dot workspace find first child player. Uh, Wait, player. Oh yeah, yeah, player. Name. And then what we're gonna do is wait. Actually, wait. Now I think about it. Oh, I just realized we actually we, never mind. Never mind. You could at least you could at least that. We just don't even need that. Now I think about it. All we actually have to do really is do game dot workspace dot camera. Actually, stop there. Stop there. Of course, how can you make a camera without actually having a camera? So now you need your part to where you want the uh, cameras like focus to be, which which is like your view. So like, obviously a camera would be pretty high up, obviously, because it's like that's the whole point of a camera. So uh, let's say we had a camera, then we want to see like the entire like uh, base plate from like high up. 
yeah, like about right there. Of course, make sure you anchor it. Then you could call this camera one, right? And then go back into the script and then do game that workspace dot camera dot camera subject and then change that to game that workspace dot camera one, which will then change it to that, right? So that'll then change the subject to that. So then you're not you're viewing uh like you're pretty much seeing through the eyes of the part like from high up and stuff. Now of course we've made a way for you to access the camera. Now we need a way for you to get out of the camera. So what we can do is we can make a we can make a quick low UI. We call this uh camera. We call this camera GUI. Then it literally it'll just be a text button. That's legit it. It'll literally be a text button. Just make we'll just make it real quick. Uh, let me like dark gray, uh, rich text, okay, bold, scale the text. Then we'll have the text to change the text to say exit camera, right? And then just to make it like brighter, I'll make the stroke white. Yeah, there we go. All right? And then there's a the text button. You can name the text button, uh, exit camera button. And then We'll insert a local script here, and then we'll call this exit camera script. Then what we want to happen is script dot parent dot mouse one click connect function. So when the player clicks this, pretty much what we want to happen is we want their camera to be set back to normal. So oh, then I'm gonna do that. So we click enter twice to space it down, and then of course we're gonna want to get the character. So we can do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Wait, hold on one second, guys. Alright, my fault guys, my fault. But anyway, what's it called? So basically what we're gonna do is for exit camera script, right? We're gonna wanna get the character. Or actually no, I stay I stay forgetting we don't need the character. My fault, my fault. All we need to do now is do we actually we delete that. What we wanna happen is game dot workspace dot camera camera subject is equal to I'm tripp oh my god, I'm tripping. My fault guys, I'm so sorry. Alright. So go ahead and get the local player. Right? Local players equal to game dot players dot local player. Then go down here, click enter, then do local character is equal to game dot workspace fine for child player name camera subject then character dot humanoid. That's what we're setting. This we're setting it's um what's it called the subject of the camera to be. And then we want to uh disable this UI. Cause we're gonna have it automatically uh disabled and stuff. It'll be enabled when they click this or the other script hold on. So what we want to do is um also do script dot parent dot parent I believe yeah and then enable then false. So when they click it the button just in a way disappears we'll say right and then on this script and then on the script this is how we're enabling the camera which is also how we're going to enable the UI we're going to do player so just sending over the player's instance right we're going to do player dot player GUI dot camera GUI dot enabled is equal to true then this should work let's go ahead and test it Alrighty, let's see if we can left click. There we go. Oh, I have an error. I have to figure that out. But as you guys can see, our camera subject has changed to the part, so then it, it acts as a camera and stuff, right? And now, this for some reason did not work, which is weird. It should wait. Mm, if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Where did that camera fire to? 
Oh wait, you can't sign over. Oh wait, I don't think you can. Oh wait, never mind. I think. I, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm so used to using um. What was the word? Sorry. I'm so used to using um remote events that fire. Uh, what's it called? From the client to the server rather than server to client. I don't. I really don't use server to client events at all. But anyway, a simple fix for this is, is just to make local player variable and then do local game. Uh, local player equals game that players that local player, and then you could delete this. And then do local. Oh, well, we already have the player. So and then just change, literally just change this to player. And boom, this, this literally worked. That'll fix everything. Now, if we try again, if we click this, as you guys can see, the UI is there. Exit camera, and boom, our camera is back to normal. Click it again. On the camera, then exit. Of course, you guys can move it around, change the colors, whatever, whatever fits your style. I just want to go ahead and apologize for any for all the errors in this video and stuff like that, and like me having to get up and stuff for a sec. But I hope this video was helpful and stuff like that. That's how you make a camera system. As always, if you if you have help, I mean, if you need help, leave a comment down below. Join the Discord. Uh, ping me for help and stuff. My links to the join my Discord and Roblox group can be found in my description and stuff. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all.